Hello, my name is Elizabeth Kensinger, and I am chairperson of the Department of Psychology and Neuroscience at Boston College. Thank you so much for your interest in our graduate program and in learning more about our department. We have 25 full-time faculty who specialize across five different areas of emphasis, behavioral neuroscience, cognitive neuroscience, developmental psychology, social psychology, and quantitative and computational psychology. As a graduate student, you have the opportunity to specialize in any of those areas through three different tracks that we offer, a PhD track focused in neuroscience, a PhD track focused in psychology, and a PhD track focused in quantitative methods. Now you'll also find that many of our faculty actually span across different areas, and we also often collaborate with one another. In terms of some of the themes that many of us are interested in, these include topics like learning and memory, both in affective and also in cognitive realms. How is it that we get information into our mind and that we retain that information over time? We're also, as a faculty, interested in our cognitive and socio-emotional development from infancy through older age. We're also interested in topics like virtue and morality, how individuals cooperate or learn to trust one another. These are just some of the many topics that you can delve into as a graduate student in our department. One of the things that I think you might appreciate about our department is that we tend to admit relatively small groups of graduate students each year, often around six or so students that will enter our program in a given year. That means that you'll have specialized attention and you'll really get to know the faculty in our department. You'll be admitted into our program with a primary advisor as well as a secondary advisor. That primary advisor is really going to be the person in whose lab you're going to find an academic home. That's going to be an individual who you're going to be in touch with on a very regular basis. And you're also going to be having regular correspondence um, and discussions with the other members within that person's laboratory. But your secondary mentor is also going to play an important part in your intellectual development, being another person whom you can turn to for advice and support and guidance, both in your scientific journey and also in your professional journey. I think you'll also find that most of our faculty tend to have their doors open to you. And so you really do have the resources of all of those 25 full-time faculty members available to help you on your academic journey. And indeed, you'll find that over the years, your mentorship team will grow and expand beyond just those primary and secondary advisors to include more and more individuals as you get ready to defend your master's thesis and then to establish your dissertation committee in the later years in the program. Our goal is really to help you succeed in whatever your next career goals may be, training you both in how to do cutting edge research and also in how to be an outstanding educator. Thank you so much for listening. And I hope that one day I may have the opportunity to welcome you to the Boston College campus.